Hi there, my name is Taylor Coplin, and in the last video, we went over how to make dim effects and how to make some really cool ones, actually. Uh, so I highly recommend checking that one out. I think you will learn a lot. Uh, in this video, we are going to go over how to make color effects. And um, something that is recommended is if you haven't seen already, I show you a really quick and easy way on how to make uh, these colors to get you started for your show file which we are going to be using for this example so i highly recommend checking that out uh, before you get started on this video anyways jumping into it to make a color effect what we are going to do is we are going to make a, a non-selective effect again so we'll know we'll go here All right so select a effect tile that's empty hit add and then over here, you'll see color, but we're actually after the uh, mix color. If you click on mix color, uh, depending on what fixture you have, you might have a bunch of stuff here. Just click on mix color, okay? And it will work, okay? Uh, if you click on like color here or color one or C1 or whatever, it's not gonna work. It has to be mixed color, okay? We'll hit confirm. And then what we are going to do is we are gonna run on over to our low and high value. And then if you select the header here, you can see it will select uh, everything here, okay? And then if you right click uh, right here or in any one of these that is selected, you can see now instead of having values of like numbers, it has our colors that we set up over here in our main view, right? So it is calling from this pool of colors. So any, any colors that you've made in your show file will show up here when you open up this menu. So let's make a red and a blue color chase. All right, so I guess for our low value, we'll do red and our high value, we'll do blue. It does not matter which is the high value and which is the low value. It's just pick whatever two colors you want. Uh, so from here, what we can do is if we go into our layout view and we'll bring up our effects, uh, let's name this to color effects. Okay. Uh, we can grab our mid stage, which is up here, and then we will bring it to the full intensity. So full, full. Okay. Uh, and now if we click on our color effect, you can see it's doing our red and blue chase. Now it works out pretty all right in this instance, um, but for the most part, see how it's fading here? That typically doesn't look good, especially with some color combinations. Uh, so what I recommend for color effects is if you go into your color effect here, uh, again, we're gonna select the header to select all of our, um, our columns here, or our rows. Okay, so click on form and then it makes a selection. We'll right click and we'll make it a PWM. And now if we look, you can see, ah, it's a very beautiful and vibrant color chase, right? And then the same thing applies for um, the dim effects with like playing around with it, you know, making it symmetrical or whatnot. Um, you just gotta make sure whatever you do for one, you do for all. Uh, for the most part, of course, you can get some pretty cool looking combinations if you, you know, mix it up here. But for the most part, I like doing all these as the same variable. So I gave it a wings of two. So now it's doing that thing. Uh, if I do like symmetrical all, uh, we'll make everything full. Now it's doing this thing, which is pretty cool. What if we did uh, wings of four? Now, oh, I should probably clear out the programmer before I do this, that, that, full, full. Here we go. All right, looks pretty cool. Uh, we can do, um, let's see, if we turn off the wings, and then, so now it's gonna be doing this thing. And then what if we, Hmm. So I have the symmetrical. Okay, what if we did this? What if we did this? We'll select our all group, which is not a symmetrical selection. 
fire color effect with the full and now it's doing this what if we gave it a wings of two now what would this look like okay so it looks like this Uh, it's back to doing this. I don't know. You can just kind of play with it. Uh, you can go back in here and you can change it to like, I don't know, orange and blue. Which is a fun combination. Actually, orange and cyan looks pretty good. Uh, cyan. It's a very vibrant uh, contrast. But yeah. Definitely play around with this. Of course, we can make this back to a sine wave if we wanted to. Which kind of looks interesting as a sign. Like I said, like this is a probably a good example of like how some things just don't look good as a sine wave because you get like these like weird shades of green in it. Or maybe this is the look you're going after. I don't know. Um Yeah, you can even like do like random random on a color effect does not always work out. Uh, that's a pewter idiom. Uh, we want a random. This is not going to look good. Yeah. <laughs> random just kind of vomits. Thing -o. Um, And of course, like, if you want, like, a rainbow, you can always, like, I don't know. Take these. We can delete them. Low predefined. We can go RGB chase. There you go. Now you got a rainbow. Yeah. Uh, and you you can break this down. Like I highly recommend like going through the uh, loaded effects and you know checking out what they're doing. And all they're doing for the rainbow effect is they have um just a normal waveform here, and uh it is just starting in three different places, and then it's chasing. So that's all you're seeing here. Nothing special here. There's no uh, higher low value for these. Uh, where's high? Yep. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, I hope this answered some questions. I hope this was helpful. And uh, in the next video, uh, let's see what are we doing. In the next video, we are going to go over movement effects. Uh, so, I look forward to seeing you in that video.